Oh my goodness. Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome to a blackout. <laughs> no, I just haven't turned my camera on, that's all. It's really difficult to reach. There we go. Ah, the music. What the music? Hello everybody, welcome, welcome. All right. Ah. Oh. I tell you what we do need. Um, we also need to put up the gameplay starts timer. Got rid of that for last night's stream. So if you are here and you're not watching live, you can check out uh, this timer and just fast forward until it gets to zero because that's when we're going to start. I'm here. Yes, I am here. It's fine. There's no problems. It's just I forgot to turn the camera on. <laughs> I have a checklist. Where's my checklist? I have a checklist. And my checklist is like to change the sound device of my computer, open Streamlabs uh, desktop thing, get the stream key for the live stream because every single one is different because of events. Uh, I have to then change the correct stream title, otherwise it doesn't go out to Twitch and Facebook properly. I have to update my social media message because the generic message that goes out doesn't actually allow you to input the title of the stream on it automatically or anything like that. And then... I have to go to Steam and say which game I'm streaming, otherwise it won't work. Uh, and then I have to make sure I'm looking at the mod chat on Discord in case there's any moddiness that going on that I need to keep an eye on. Uh, open up the chat, get the commands ready for, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, for hellish tools and so forth. I have to open touch portals so I can switch scenes like this. Um... And then I have to get my room lighting on, I have to turn the camera on, and I have to open the side camera. Cam 2. I have to open up the, the lens on that. Um, what else do I have to do? I have to mute my phone and all that sort of stuff, get my headphones on and get the game open. And I skipped one. I missed one. I missed opening the camera. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, how are you all? You doing good? You all doing good? What's for what's for dinner? I've had my dinner uh, today. My wife made us um, uh, chicken and spaghetti, breaded cheesy breaded chicken and spaghetti in the tomato sauce. I don't think I've ever had it before. <laughs> it was new. <laughs> it was new. Oh dear. But I, I'm a bit warm actually, and I've opened the vents on the window, but I don't think that's going to be enough. Just bread. Mm, not sure just bread is the best, eh? I'm not a health expert or anything. Hey, egg. No noodles with a. With. What's, what's that? Satay? Sid? Is it satay? You know I'm dyslexic. It's, it's difficult even when the words are, are correct. Um, pizza and spaghetti. Oh, everybody's talking about what they've eaten. Fantastic. Um, yes, spaghetti. Nom, 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 nom. Um, what else have we got? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. You've got to remember, folks, we've got to remember that this weekend we've got an event. It's the charity championships and we're going to be playing Open TTD. So if you haven't got that in your calendar yet, make sure you have that. It's going to be at uh i think it's uh yeah four o'clock uk time and we're gonna have the charity championships we've got uh six free games to play and you can make sure you've got all those games up and ready to go by going to masterhellish.net uh for yeah forward slash take part okay i will pop that in all the chats in fact, uh, I will pop it on the screen as well because we've got a custom moderator pop-up that we should be able to do. It just comes down here in little bits. Yeah, little bits. You know, when normally will you shout out your points or enter a giveaway? We, we can do that as a mod. Any mod can do that. It's just a little bit of a custom thing. But go to the site, get the games installed so that you come and can, can come and join in. Um... None of them are massive. One of them's a bit bigger than the others. Um, five of them are Steam games. One of them is a non-Steam game. And I think we have servers for all of them. We have an open TTD server. We have a Facebook server, a T-World server. We don't have um, uh, a RetroCycle server. But we, we ad hoc that. It should be fine. 
and we have a um, what what game's that? <laughs> my my mind's gone blank. My mind's gone blank. It's uh altitude server. Yes, we have an altitude server, and then the other one that nobody can pronounce. Well, people can do, but everybody I keep forgetting. It's um I'm sure if Jackamax here, he'll, he'll be able to tell us because he looked it up on the wiki. Yeah, that's the one, Brandon. I I, I can't remember how to how to spell it. I'm gonna have to open my window. I'm gonna have to. I'm warm in here already, and you know we're only so many minutes, seven minutes ish into the stream. So hang on a second, folks. I'm just gonna. Where's the uh, blind and oh, there we go. Some fresh air in. Uh, you you miss, miss the oh, <laughs> zone zonotic. I think we're going with yeah zonotic. Um, it's a good game. It's a good game. It's a a uh, fast pace um, arena shooter. So it's a little bit different to a lot of the games that I normally stream, but it's a good bit of fun. It's free. Uh, you may even say it's a fantastic free game. Yeah. Um, so yeah, go get those games because, you know, the winner's going to get £50 pounds of Steam vouchers, so it's worth a try. And it's going to be good fun. You know it's going to be good fun. These championships are are good fun. I don't know how long. I think the stream will end. Ah, uh, I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember what time the stream will end. Let's have a look at the timings. So if I've got my timings right, the last game will start at nine UTC, but that's an hour behind UK time. So it's going to start at ten o'clock my time. It goes on for an hour, which means it's going. To, the stream will finish eleven o'clock my time which will be midnight Europe time. So we're going to be going from 5 o'clock Europe time to midnight Europe time. Make sure you get your food ready and stuff. It's going to be a good event. I'm looking forward to it. Everybody get to that Take Part link. Make sure you've got the games installed. Um, the only limit we're placing on people joining the games is how many people we can get in the server. And if I remember correctly, all of these servers are either... 16 or 20 person servers. So we should be all right. I think. I think. And and the way that the point system works, you can come and play open TTD and come last but still win the championship. Although coming first in open TTD does give you a bit of a good start. <laughs> also, if you come first in open TTD and then get zero points for the rest of the championship, you're unlikely to win. So open TTD will not decide it. Is it okay if you only join a few games? Yeah. Yeah, it's totally fine. Uh, if you want to, you can just come and join one game. It doesn't matter. Just take part. Um, you know, it's it's a very uh, very casual sort of championship. It's, it's I think it's probably one of the most casual competitive things <laughs> that you can probably do. Uh, join in. If you win, you get points. <laughs> That's yeah, so uh, come along, join in. The actual information about how to join is on that page, but most of it's been blanked out because the details are coming soon. Um, the server names might not even be, be right, but it does tell you what games we're playing. There's links to Steam under each one, so you can say get the where it says get the game free on Steam. You can click that, and then there's a uh, for the last game there is a website where you get a zip and zip the game and put it in your computer and run it and then you can go pew 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 boom 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 50 pound of steam vouchers maybe yeah oh um that's really the only big news at the minute is just this upcoming event um oh interesting news though not as big but we have a special live stream on thursday this week for silica so Silica is under embargo at the moment. Um, there, there should be enough room for everyone. Yeah, sometimes we get close to the maximum on the servers, but we haven't really had that problem. Uh, because different people join in with different games sometimes. Like sometimes people will play half of the games or maybe all of them but one or two. Uh, and it depends, yeah. So yeah, uh, on Thursday at a standard live stream time, uh, we're going to be doing a Silica live stream, and that game is under embargo at the moment. 
but the embargo will lift the day before. So on May the 4th, we will be going out to an alien planet and uh, battling for resources. Um, I think that's all I can say. I don't know. I don't know what else I can say. Um, I need to have a look at what information is public about that and what isn't. But I haven't shared anything I'm not supposed to, so that's all good. <laughs> yeah, should be a fun event and should be a nice little live stream. The, the, the information that I've seen about Silica is obviously how 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 can I cover this in without waffling on? I often get emails from people asking me to either like have a go at their game or uh, do some sort of challenge drop challenge for a game or like things like that basically like we give you free game you give us exposure sort of situations and it's not very often then i that i turn around and go yeah all right the last time i did this was rail route and man was that worth it that's a good game that is a good game rail route let's get my microphone in a better position um and i'm still in touch with the dev the dev for rail route um it's uh, they're a, they're a fantastic small team they've been making loads of really good improvements through early access i mean it was a good game anyway um and i've actually made a request for one feature and it's a very much would like to have but if i get it i'll be really happy so we'll see how that goes <laughs> i doubt i'll doubt they'll dev the feature uh, they've got a lot of important work to do um, without the whim of, of one content creator. Um, if I didn't write a really good idea, then. Uh, yeah. So what sort of game is it? You haven't heard about it? It is It is on the Steam store. So if you look up Silica, um, all the information is there. I don't want to talk about it too much because I don't know what is and isn't covered under the embargo had time to go into great detail about that so i am saying as little as possible about the game <laughs> until the embargo is lifted um i presumably for, for for the most part it's probably just like don't stream the game you know um there is there is a screenshot of the game in the thumbnail for the live stream but that was part of the creators pack, so I was provided that screenshot to be able to be share and to for for making thumbnails and stuff. Where there's, there's a creators pack that they provided, um, so yeah, uh, that's going to be different. I mean, we haven't done that for a while. I can't think of the last time we did a having a crack like that. Um, Rail route was probably the last one that I. I know we have done a having a crack. That was KSP two. Uh, we'll do more KSP2 when significant uh, features are released. Uh, so it's been requested uh, for more KSP2 to come from, from the community, and I'm happy to do that. It's, it's a game that interests me, and I think it's a game that interests you lot. Um, but I'm not going to do more KSP2 until significant features have been added to the game. So we'll we'll get back to that one. But speaking of getting to games, we need to get to TTD, don't we? There we go, right on the button. So recently we've been working on this little network. I say little network, it's actually getting quite big now. We've got some good bits across the country. In fact, if we sh show the map, let's show the map. No, not that bit. Get rid of that, get rid of uh, uh, that way. There we go. So we've got this kind of network here that you can see in the middle of the screen. This isn't a massive network, but it's also not a tiny network. Um. Yeah, it's 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 not it's not massive, but it's not tiny. Um. So. Oh, uh, yes, it's a new month, isn't it, Chexo? We'll we'll have a look at that in a minute. So this is what we've been building recently, and the idea is is to get vehicles coming out. Now I mentioned this on last night's stream. If you didn't see last night's stream, we did farming simulator with the viewer plus subscribers. It was fantastic fun. The stream ended up going on for ages. Um, there's some fantastic clips on Twitch of that one, uh, but hopefully we'll be sh um, sharing them soon. It's going to be great. Uh, also. Um, also, whilst I'm talking about that, yes, giveaways. So monthly giveaways will be announced soon, and they might be ready for Thursday's live stream. If not, they'll be ready for next week's live streams, okay, the monthly giveaways. 
So the monthly giveaways are not live yet. I can tell you what they're going to be. I can have a quick look in my spreadsheet here. Uh, I think I announced what they were going to be in Hellish News, didn't I? Um, so, uh, uh, April's have been uh, chosen. The winners have been chosen. So uh, the uh, winner of Sim Airport was J-Bay. The winner of the £10 Steam voucher was Sixer. And in May, we're going to be giving away Skyrim and a £10 Steam voucher because we're celebrating 10 years of content from me this year so that's why we're giving away all these 10 pound steam vouchers so right so we're gonna just keep an eye on this train here it's actually called saber psycho because um saber bought i think bought uh with hellish points the the right to name a train and this is our first train with vehicles so do we want to get, do the guess how much money this train's going to make thing uh so it's just leaving the uh, assembly plant which uh, we need to get the names up there we go um so it's the psychotic vehicles vehicle assembly plant or assembly plant and the first train is on its way okay the vehicle train actually left yeah what's the money like what the money for the train yeah i'm not so sure so you can see that uh if we look at the capacity of the total cargo we're carrying 575 tons of vehicles. Um, and I've just realized that this line doesn't have any... <laughs> it doesn't have any depots on it. So we're going to have to build the depots on the line as the train's going down it and try and just keep ahead of it. Now, looking at the length of the trains and the size of this um, offshoot thing that what I've done here... It's uh, not big enough, but ah, I think it would be all right, probably. There we go. So that's that one done. Let's put another one in here. I, I thought I did this. Okay, so we're, we're doing rapid depot assembly. There we go. Um, there we go. So if... There we do. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Hopefully, I can get this one built before the train comes. And the actual the process of building track in front of a train, whilst uh, either riding a train or following a train, it's called grommeting. Yeah, bet you didn't know that. Do you know why? Because I made it up. I sort of made it up. It comes from a, a Nick Park film. Wallace and Gromit, um, The Wrong Trousers. Fantastic little animated film. Uh, people are guessing already. Uh, okay, uh, so I told you how many it's carrying, but I haven't told you how far away it is. And in kind of Manhattan distance, that is about 1,600. The Hellish Dictionary. Yeah, at one point I was thinking about starting a wiki. Oh, the train didn't take those ones. Okay, let's go over here. Uh, starting a wiki for all the things that are like a little bit just hellish. Um, but then like the complexity of setting it up and all that, and I didn't know I have time to do it. Uh, if anybody is like familiar with CMS systems and and especially things like Joomla and stuff, and wants to help out with like little projects like that, then let me know. Get in touch. Um, because we might be able to do some pretty cool things. So we're doing double off the main line depots. A little signal before the depots and a little signal before going back on the main line. Uh, I may ask you all to reiterate your guesses at some point. Yes, like, yeah, a hellish like a hellish wiki. I actually made, I believe it was wiki.masterhellish.net, and started to look at it. You've used Joomla and Word WordPress. Oh, Joomla's the way that I I'm I'm doing things. If you have any insights in upgrading Joomla from version three to version four, let me know because that's the that is the thing that I've got to do next. Um, hard to believe the train is around seven years in game terms. What? Where's the train? Where is the train? Is it broken down? Oh, no, it, there it is. It's going across our 
bridges. I mean, you can't hear it because the sounds are quite low. Why is the sound so low? Let me see if I can turn the sounds up. There we go. Um, let's get the effects, effects volume correct. Um, you put it on your list of research. Yeah, I mean, if you've got time uh, and you've got some tips on that, it would be appreciated. Um, I've got a few sites to do and I want it to go as smoothly as possible. <laughs> Um, but there we go. You can hear the horn. Yes. Yes, that's a version 13 thing. We're actually running version 13.1. So we've got these depots in. It's almost certainly going to use those depots. I think. We, should we make this diagonal into a depot? Should we do a quick vote? Should we go do a quick vote? No, it's a tiny little thing. We won't, we won't do a vote for something like that, will we? I think it's a good place for some depots, though. Is it long enough? Let's have a look. Mm. Yeah, I suppose it is. Okay. You have to come off further when you're doing diagonal depots like this. Yeah. I I don't know why I chose Joomla. Actually, I do know why I chose Joomla. <laughs> I just realized why I chose Joomla as I was saying. I don't know why. It's because I'd done a project in Joomla before. Is that right? I think I might have to put it out one more. Okay, let's have a look. So if we go down here like to the middle and we go uh, there, here, here, here. Oh, no, wait. Um, nope, that's the right distance out. Though I think I did it a bit wonky, but never mind. You missed the notification of your favourite game stream? Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, go and enjoy it. Here we go. Uh, well, something I was going to say, and I don't think I've said it. Uh, I recently polled uh, my viewers asking what percent of a live stream should be just the gaming. Like gaming content only. And there was a little bit of a split because there is there are some people that kind of think that a live stream like this should be a hundred percent um gaming. Like no time for giveaways or tangents or anything like that. It's just game, just the game. And I can understand people wanting that. But according to my viewers who I polled, um no, no. Apparently, you should. Th you think that there should be in the region of I think it was twenty one percent other. Right, the train's still nowhere near. It's all way all the way down here. Let's have a look at its statistics. How many breakdowns has it had? What it's had one breakdown since last service, and its reliability is now sixty eight percent. Hey, Gil Games, welcome. Um, <laughs> runners like I think they meant this stream. This stream. Your favourite game stream? Nice. <laughs> okay. Um, they're not forced depots. You are correct. They are not forced depots. I forgot to remove the little bit of track here and here. I mean, I don't think it really matters too much, but there we go. We've done it. So there we got there, there. I guess we're going to have to have some here as well, aren't we? Wow, this is, I think, probably the longest line I may have ever created. I don't remember ever creating a longer line. Oh, well, actually, no. Hang on a minute. I just remembered something. I just remembered the ridiculously long line that I did in uh, Open TTD Series 6, where we did one end of a 4K map to the other end of a 4K map. Um... Let's just check. There we go. It was um, not that profitable. I mean, it wasn't negative, which is, I think it wasn't negative. 
Um, but the the length of this one, like I said, is approximately is approximately that's one thousand four hundred. Uh, yeah, it's about one thousand six hundred Manhattan distance. Uh, is it good to ha to have less than one horsepower per ton? Probably not. Your trains will go slower. Can you show the income graph? Yeah, let's have a look at the income graph. There's the income graph. Income is generally going up slowly. Generally on its way up. Um, the thing that isn't on its way up is the uh, population of Hellish City. So Hellish City has stalled in population. And it's because vehicles aren't being supplied. Also, sodium hydroxide is having more problems. But everything else is either brilliant or surviving. So we need more sodium hydroxide. Which I think means more engineering supplies. Like, uh, I don't know. Oh, it was, it was this line. Oh, I completely forgot we needed to upgrade this line. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to fix this. Right, uh, I think what we'll do is divide this station into... Should we divide it in two? Should we just divide it in two? Have we got room at the back of the plant here? We have. The depots won't work as they are. We'll have to... Oh my goodness, there's a train stuck in the depot. Is that going to make a crash? I don't think so. I can't see. That's the problem. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a second line in. And it's going to come out here. And I can't see because this industry is in the way. There we go. And there we go. And this second line is going to come out, go down here. It's just going to mirror this line like this. And then I think what we'll do is we'll just pop that straight into here when I can. And that we'll have those two as dedicated lines for that bit. We'll get the, rid of the ridiculous bit here. Um, we'll put the signals there. I suppose we should also keep an eye on that train wherever it is. Here it is. There we go. We'll just keep an eye on that train up there in the corner. Um, and we'll try and fix this on the fly. So hopefully we can get trains coming down the other line rather than clogging up this one. And then we'll, they'll need a way to get back, which is currently fine. So that's good. I think most of the problem at the moment is actually being able to offload it. So we will put that bit of track in there and remove this one. That's going to force the train onto the new line. There we go. And then what we'll do... He was about to say, yeah, we're all right. We've got plenty of time. Plenty of time. We'll go into the stations. We'll get the drop-off station. I think we're going to have to leave a gap to get enough platforms in. Yeah, we're going to have to leave a gap of two, I think. But that's fine. And we'll put another two in here. We will... Oh, no. I built it the wrong way around. There we go. It's fine. Fixed it. There we go. Oh, by the way, if anybody's wondering why the crash counter for Farming Simulator went up, uh, I went on the server today to clear some logs, and we had some crashes. I don't know what I'm going to do about depots around here yet. We will see. So the idea here is, is that I'm thinking that if that lane at the top is dedicated for that train and then we have a lane at the bottom that's dedicated for these ones but these ones aren't going very well. Although the trains aren't there. Where are they? Oh, 
what? Have I just not done it? What is that? It's a potash mine. Oh, the trains are lost. Oh, the trains have just gone or gone AWOL. They've gone completely. I have no idea where they are. Where are those trains? Oh, they're up there. How did they get up there? Oh, never mind. It'll be fine. I think. I'm not sure if it'll be fine. Um, what we'll do is we will temporarily allow extra access down into this section just so that the trains can sort it out. An orientation counter. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to have to do it on the stream, though. Uh, Saber Psycho has gone into a set of depots. They are, look, so we just got uh, a, um, a refresh there. The reliability is starting to go down. That's all good. So then I think what we'll do is we'll come out here like this. And we'll come across here. Now this bit of track is in the way. Might wiggle through it or I might figure, figure out another way of doing it. Stations the wrong way around this stream. One. I don't know which one of the moderators did that, but thank you. <laughs> ah, and there is Saber now. Hello, welcome to the stream. So we've got a train here going down this line. I, I think this is a terrible idea, actually, come to think of it. They they need to be separate stations. Um, and I'm going to do them as terminuses so that it works better. Ugh, this is going to be difficult. This is going to be difficult. Okay, separate stations and terminuses. Let's do it. Oh my goodness, that train's stuck as well. I don't even know where you're trying to go. Okay, hang on a second. Oh, this is right a mess. There we go. Okay. So, um, yeah, but we're going to make this as a terminus. We'll make all of these as termini. We are going to stop trains from using these first two. Why is that train not going into that platform? Oh, it can't? Can't see. Just go into the platform. Thank you. And what we'll do is we'll allow the trains to come in and go into any of these platforms to begin with. Um, because of the problems that I've now caused myself. But we're going to disable the first two platforms. For a bit. Just to try and get the train out, trains out of there. Uh, right, now let's see. Um, let's go over to Sabre and see how things are going. So we've gone in these depots. I'm thinking we're going to need some more depots. I'm going to have to build them here and I'm going to have to do it quickly. Oh no, we're high up. We No, I'm not, I'm not going to do it there. Maybe I should, maybe I should do it there. Or is that okay? You know what? I think it's going to be all right. Well, what would we... Oh, no. What? Oh, how on earth did that happen? I wasn't paying attention to what was going on. That train stuck as well. Oh, my goodness. Let's put a signal there. Bit of track here. Well, at least there's no trains going into those platforms anymore. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, dear. Okay, in and out. Series 10 train crash is equal to 1. That is right. Very much so. First train, train crash of the series, yeah. And also, the trains are all in the way, so there's no way that I can easily sort this out. It's, it is a bit of a nightmare around here at the minute. So, but we'll get there. We'll, we will get there. So what we need is a crossover in front of each station. Then we need a bit with uh, the signals on for in and out. And then it can go diagonal. Um, and it needs to be a separate station as well. So 
going to go station and oh, does it need to be a separate station it doesn't if there's a direct line okay yes that's right doesn't if there's a direct line and i'm doing direct lines now which i probably should have done in the first place there we go but never mind eh yeah i mean as a general rule with what i'm doing trains will not crash unless you mess around with the tracks while they're going on them and that's exactly what i'm doing i'm messing around with the tracks as the trains are going around on them okay so that's all the old entrance fixed this is like the northernmost line i'm going to give it a nice wide option here what why we've got two there isn't two train crashes No idea what's going on. Don't forget to clone the train and replace it. That is a good point, but the trains are going. There's, there's so many trains on this route, it doesn't really matter at the moment. Let's get rid of this. Put that in there. There we go. And we'll. what we'll do is... Um. No, no, no. Get out of that platform. Don't go... Oh, it broke down. Half the problem is the trains are breaking down as they're going along these platforms. Oh, I just got rid of something that a train was using. Oh, no. He needs to go back that way. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Con continue down that... No, don't go that way. There we go. Right. Saber's actually getting close. Brandon hit the wrong button. The website didn't update it. It, You have to refresh the page. Uh, is there not a... Like, it only updates if you're the one that did it. The, that page isn't an active page. Like, you need to check and refresh or something. Okay, we've got a problem here, and I'm not quite sure how to resolve it. Because um, I didn't really want to train in there, and for, and for some reason I've managed it. So let's do that. Number of train crashes is back down to one. Let's get that train round the back. And we're allowing all of these trains to use any of these platforms at the moment round the back, I think. Okay. So let's get rid of this. And that. And the reason for this is that there's probably some trains on the wrong line. And that will fix it, I think. I'm not sure. I, I haven't thought this through. I'm just doing it. Hellish, if you insist on breakdowns, send the trains to depots before redoing the station. Nah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm busy. <laughs> Okay, so that one can come up an extra point or two. Uh, I have no idea where that train's going. Although we've got our first train going down here, so that's good. We need to do some sort of like cross-line acceptance thing there. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay, so this train... Probably can go here. Nope. Doesn't like that. Um, I don't want it there. I want it here. Oh, just go. Oh, my goodness. Right. Just go in there. Look, there's nothing coming. Just go in the line. And if you're lost, I'll fire you. Oh, Sabre's coming in. Quick. Right, pause the game, pause the game. Okay. So, uh, if you guessed previously how much money this train's going to make, remember, it's travelled roughly 1,600 squares. It's carrying um, 575 tonnes of vehicles. And um, I think it broke down once. So get your guesses in now. 
And because what we've got build whilst paused on, I am going to try and fix this. So um, this line here doesn't need to be there anymore. We can get rid of that. That reduces complexity. Uh, that train can just go wherever it wants to into that section. That's fine. I don't care about that. This one down here, um, I guess we can get rid of that as well. Yeah, we'll get rid of this. Get rid of the trees so I can see what I'm doing. That is not what I meant to do. There we go. So now we've got one going in up there. And then these ones we don't want to merge. And then these ones we probably might merge. So there we go. Um, and then let, let's do that now then, shall we? So if we go from here, let's just need to cut off a tiny bit of that hillside to get in here. There we go. And of course we can get rid of that as well. So hopefully these trains will be isolated. I mean, I don't think there are any trains on that line because I think they got lost, which is a bit rubbish, but never, <laughs> never mind. And what we'll do is if a train is lost, we'll just get rid of it and put new ones on. But I think we're okay from a lot of it, not all of it. Um, <laughs> the train crash happened. It exploded, Phil. Oh, it had to, didn't it, Egg? It absolutely had to. There we go. Um, right then, let's find out. Let's find out how much this is going to make. We've got some suggestions coming in. We've got 180, 38. That's quite low, Gil, right? Joe says 260. We've got uh, 120. Uh, Sabre says 150, 330. <laughs> We've got a guess of 78,671 and 20 pence i suppose i should have mine and i'm going to change my guess i mean i haven't made a guess yet i think it's got to be kind of the high 200s low 300s so i'm going to say 303 let's unpause the game and find out oh oh my goodness it was 1000 it was 137,000. Wow, who got the closest? 107,000. That's not a lot. That is not a lot. 137,000. Brandon had 120. Um, Joe's trying to cheat. They better have had, they had a hellish delay. Oh, yes. I'm pretty sure Joe put that there in chat in case we forgot what it was. So thank you very much, Joe. Usually somebody does that. So that's that's handy. Uh, Egg says, I guessed 140. Did you, Egg? Did Egg guess 140? I can't see that. I can't see anything that would beat it either. Uh, you did. You did. You guessed 140. There was 120 in there. DJ Egg? DJ. Oh, you're just rounding it up, yeah. They are DJ. Give yourself a hundred hellish points. You got there. You did it. And we delivered some um, vehicles. So now, at the end, I think it's at the end of January, we will get the vehicle. Oh no, wait, it counts. Okay, so we got some delivered. It's still not growing because of the sodium hydroxide, but I'm fixing that now. He says. Massively worrying whether it's actually getting fixed or not. There we go. So what I'm thinking is, is that, like, I don't know how to put the correction stuff here. Let's unpause the game. Get rid of that train. Get it in. It's going to be in the wrong place, I think. You'd suggest add in a second engine since it's struggling getting to full speed. I'm hoping that the engine is going to be upgraded soon. That's what I really want to happen. Um, we're going to have 
two lines coming out together. Maybe we'll get them going both a little bit more north. Like this. No, don't, don't you do it as well. Oh my goodness. Right, we're going to have some lost trains. That is for sure. Okay, let's get rid of this silly line here. Oh, I forgot signals on here. Let's sort that out. There we go. At least that one's going into the right platform. Oh, it can't because the signals... Why are there signals there? Oh, they're the old signals. That's fine. That's fine. So we've got uh, in and out. And we can get rid of this, I think. Get rid of that now. Here we go. Here we go. Look at it all coming together. Look at it all coming together. Brilliant. And that's the... Uh, we're going to let trains come in here in a moment. Okay, that's good. And then... That out... Can connect... Uh, this out as well needs to come down. Oh, this is bad. Because we've got to get two lines down where all of these trains are. Oh, they are so backed up and broken. Um, okay, let's let's get the trains coming in first. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, maybe... How are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Like, delete that. Just keep deleting it as we go and then push them to where they need to be. I mean, that line's fine. I guess we could get them all on this one to begin with. That would work. And then the split down... Hang on, where's the split? Here's the weird split. So somehow we'd have a second line above here. I think. Yep, yeah, that's right. I'm kind of figuring this out, I think. And then... Uh, is that working? Yeah, there we go. No, go away. Go. Diesel trains are starting to come in. Brilliant. They go broke non-stop. Yeah, we're gonna we're we're fixing all that now. So then, what we want is this line to connect up with that bit, and this corner is gonna have to become a little bit more cornery. But never mind. Uh, let's get the bridges up. There we go. Is that enough? I think it's enough. Yep. It's going to have to be more cornery. That's the technical term. Really looking forward to you seeing replace steam trains with the diesel ones. I'm just going to use the replace tools. Uh, it is. It should be. Oh my goodness! It should be straightforward. Now, to give myself more room, I'm going to come down here with this line. And then we're going to bring it this way. So as soon as this train's out the way, we're going to... Actually, I think I can kind of just go straight in. Yep, okay. So remove this piece and add that one. That will connect up down here. And then we can get rid of this once the train's off it. We can get rid of that bit. Um, 
probably get rid of that bit as well. That will go on to the back of here, so that's correct. We don't need this. That's in the wrong place. In fact, that's in the wrong place as well. Um, we can probably just connect... I mean, the trains are going to be on the wrong lines. Which is going to be horrendous. Oh, hang on a minute. Uh, I've miscounted. Hang on. Wait, wait. Yeah, there's a problem here. There we go. There it is. There's the problem. Okay, so that one can go here. That one can go there. Yep. Good. Good, good, good. Brilliant. Thanks. Good. Um, yes, maybe. The train's actually doing stuff here? I think so. I mean, these are the wrong way around. Why are those signals the wrong way around? They're wrong. Are they? They're the right way around here. Oh, here we go. Remove signals. Go away, passenger ferry. Or maybe they're not the wrong way around. Maybe it's just difficult to see because of the situation here. Hellish points? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Hmm. Okay, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Hmm. Okay, never mind. Uh, maybe you should put some depots in the station to minimise the breakdowns temporarily. Uh, maybe, but I'm, I'm not concentrating on that right now. Uh, I think that we're just missing signals down that line altogether, and that's why it looks weird. Um, let's unpause here. Get rid of that. Okay. Much better. Dedicated line, dedicated line. Right, okay, they're all dedicated lines now. I mean, they might not be able to get to their destinations, but here we go. So we've got trains that can't find a path. So, oh my goodness, that's, oh, they're, they're fine. That's fine, that's not a problem. Then they're okay. Where's this one? Again, that's not a problem. Okay, right, okay. We're going to change it. We're going to change tactic. We're not going to look over there at all of them. We're going to click on this station and look at all the trains that are lost. So this one's lost. We'll tell it to go to a depot. This one's lost. We'll tell it to go to a depot. 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 All the ones that are lost, just, just go to depot. Unable to find depot. Okay, never mind. Maybe we should throw it. Oh, you know what we should do? We know what we can do temporarily to help ease the issue. Put some depots on the end of the platforms. Yeah, they are on the wrong lines. I know I know they're on the wrong lines. It's fine. Oh, we didn't spin for how many uh, people we we're going to have, uh, how many giveaways we we're going to have. Let's do that quickly. So, uh, the number of giveaways that we're going to... How many games have we got to give away? Oh, we've got a few. We've got a few. We've got a few. Let's get the wheel out. Uh, the options are one, two, three, one, two, and one. That's right. We're going to spin that wheel on those options and see how many giveaways we're going to do today. I mean, we're an hour into the live stream anyway, so it's going to be quick. One. There we go, folks. We're going to be doing one game giveaway this live stream. But I wondered if you thought it was going to get on that three there. Let's uh, get the giveaway going. Today's giveaway is a giveaway for Dinosaur Fossil Hunter. If you want to be winning the chance of winning that, go to portal.masterhellish.net and in there you can enter the giveaway. Right. Let's unpause and continue to tidy this mess up. 
So that looks okay. That looks okay. Okay, this all looks good. We could separate those lines a little bit if we wanted to, but nah. Okay, and then... Oh! Switch. There we go. We're switched back. Uh, was hoping what? Uh, let's see. You was hoping it was. Ah, yes. Right, that all the people entering the giveaways. All right, okay, let's just check. So there's still some chat trains going along the lines. But they're all heading... The ones that are lost are heading towards the depots. There we go. They're waiting for a free path. That's fine. You just go to a depot. If you're lost, go to a depot. There we go. And and then the problem was solved. So one thing we need to do is get the station list out. We need to um, do some good sorting out on this. So let's have a look now. We're going to look at everything that's just trains. Okay, that's the only thing we care about at the moment. Total waiting cargo, and we're going to sort by that. So we can say here... At this transfer, transfer station, we've got loads of salt. That's mostly because of all the trains breaking down. Uh, all the trains, got all these, wow, that's a lot of trains going to that particular transfer station. Oh, it's because we've got both of the ones that are co the ones that are coming in. Uh, I see. Okay, I don't think there's any trains left picking it up. Maybe these are? Yeah, they're okay. Okay, so we just need to clone it out a bit. Let's do that. Clone, 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 clone. Let's put three on, see how that goes. Brilliant. Let's keep that list up there, I think. It's a good place to keep it, for now. Um, how is everyone today? I am tired, but good. Uh, Elon Liptown Holt has a way too many passengers at it, but we're not struggling for passengers. Actually, let's just turn off passengers and mail. So, lots out. So, at um, Two Bod Wharf, we've got this uh, place with lots of different things going out of it. And there's loads of engineering supplies. Uh, with these aeroplanes, that's the best we can do. Unless we put another airport in or something, I don't know. Uh, there's not really much I can do about that. Uh, I don't want that. I don't want that. Okay. And then the next one is this coal mine. But again, we're not really having a problem with coal. But it's going to get us more money, isn't it? So let's throw a couple more trains on that. Uh, similar up here, we've got a uh, a lot of coal to shift. So again, a couple more trains. And over here, we've got a lot of salt to shift. So we're going to clone a train. These trains look like they're just queued right up. Oh my goodness. They are queued all the way up to here. Is it? Oh, these signals are the wrong way around. Oh, I can't believe I made that problem. Okay. Those ones might be alright sometime soon. Uh, these ones, again, we need a couple more trains here, I think. Let's see how many of those lost trains have now managed to find a depot. So we got this one in the wrong line. That's oh, we've got all of these in the wrong line. Let's get rid of them, all of them. Um, let's just pin that. And we'll also pin that. There we go. So this train's lost. I think it's that depot. Yep, let's get rid of that train. Oh, it's not stopped. Or maybe I got the wrong depot then. This one, that one, this one. I don't I, I don't know which depot it is. Okay, never mind. Um, let's try this one. There we go. That one's easier, isn't it? Right, let's try this one again. 43. Apparently it's stopped. Okay, let's try and delete it now. No, it's gone. Uh, we've got one train here that's lost. We'll send it to a depot. And we've got a train... Oh, we've got two trains here that are lost. So we'll send that one to a depot and we'll send that one to a depot. But apart from that, we're doing much better. 33 trains now. What scripts are you using? If you want to know all about the scripts and the GRFs that are being used, all the mods, you can go to masterhellish.net forward slash S10. There is a list of everything on there, as well as a download, in case you want to play the map as well. They are masterhellish.net forward slash S10. 
It's all on the website. Although there is no link to that page on the website because I wanted to direct people from the streams and from the video description. For long bridges, why are you not using double bridges? It improves performance. Uh, I think it depends on how long the bridges are in the first place. Um, and does it, it, it improves performance if you can't get the signals between bridges. So I, 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 have we got any long bridges? I mean, we've got these ones, but I've got signals in the middle. So doesn't really make much difference there. Um, I think most of these trains are just having problems because of breakdowns now. Um, so we're going to hopefully see an improvement of that soon. Uh, we've got loads of engineering supplies over here. This place again. Oh, this place is actually starting to move some now, I think. Oh, it joins up here. Oh, I didn't realize we had two on this line. Oh, maybe we need another one. I didn't see this split here. We'll have a look at that. How much longer is the stream? Two hours. Um, The stream will be about an mo one more hour long. We've already been going for an hour and we'll have another hour. We've also got the giveaway going. Remember, go to uh, portal.masterhellish.net and we've had a plane crash. There's not really much we can do about that. Um, I accidentally cloned it twice. We'll get rid of that. There we go. Uh, the, yeah, these, these airports are just terrible. There's, there's not a lot we can do. Um, airports are terrible and you shouldn't use them. Oh, the small city airports are available. Okay. Um... Can I... Okay, we need to close the airport. Close the airport, and we'll come back to that, and we'll do an upgrade. We will upgrade the airports. Okay. I think these, these trains here might actually be alright once we've unclogged it. Uh, we just need to wait for this uh, aeroplane to take off. And then we want to replace this hellish city airport. What do you mean aircraft in the way? Is there a load in the hangar? Why is there an aircraft in the way? The airport's closed. Oh, wait, there it goes. <laughs> so, um, we'll do this, and we'll do Hellish City Airport. And we'll make sure it's not closed. It is not closed. There we go. That one's been upgraded. I mean, there's not much of an upgrade there, apart from not crashing. Uh, I guess you can service more airplanes at once. Can we upgrade our aircraft? Uh, doesn't look like it. Oh, replace vehicles. There we go. Uh, we could, I think. Uh, we could change the uh, the the Coleman to uh, an aircraft that carries more. We need to make sure. Oh, can we organise by engineering supplies? Oh, we can't. That's not fun. And then this one, yeah, that one carries almost triple. So we definitely need to replace the aircraft. Replace aircraft, we'd love to see them. We're going to replay the, replace them. Uh, the uh, FFPP Dart is going to get replaced for both of them. It's got a higher capacity. Um, it's a large aeroplane. Ah, we need to replace the airports first. We need to replace the airports. I mean, this is starting to look better. Um, we do need to replace this one. So let's close the airport. Hellish City Shorefront. And we'll also close this airport as well. So that we can upgrade that one. And then we will make sure that we do both. I think they're really the only airports we're using. Oh, we'll have to uh, also do the satellite airports as well. So let's go station... Oh, that is the station list. Uh, station list, airports only. So we can actually go through and make sure that we're getting all of these sorted out. So, lots out will be fine. This airport's done. That one's now closed, I think. Let's see if we can delete it. Yes, we can. Uh, airport, city airport. And we will put it in instead of the shorefront. Fantastic. So that's both of those ones done. Is that can I delete this one already? Mm. We're going to need a good size space for it, I think. And I 
don't know for sure that it'll fit. Let's find out. Station 2 spread out. Why is the station 2... Sp oh, there's a train in the way. Oh, there we go. Maybe I just had it misaligned. There we are, it's fine now. Okay, so that one's been sorted out. That one's been sorted out. So we need to change this one. So we need to close this airport. Because if we're using bigger aircraft, we have to use the bigger airports. We can't, we don't have a choice. Um, there we go. The aircraft will just crash left, right, and center. There we go. Close all the airports. So we need to unpause the game. And then we can go back down the list. And just delete airports as we go. Make sure that it's the same airport when it comes back again. Did you miss anything? Uh, there was a small aircraft crash, and now we're upgrading all the airports. So that's done, that's done, that's done. That one's done. This one's next, but there's an aircraft on it. This one looks like we can get... Yep, there we go. Uh, there we are, that one's all good. I wish you could see the airport size in here as well, because that would be handy right now. This one looks pretty lonely. There's no aircraft there. Beantown Airport, sorted. Um, this one, again, I think it's because all the aircraft are on the other end, trying to load up. But with bigger aircraft, they won't. Um, it won't be so much of a problem. Okay, uh, so that one's done, that one's done. And then this one, aircraft are in the way. We have closed the airport, so we just need to wait for the aircraft to get out and up. There we go. Now I can replace it. There we go. Now, is that all of them? I think there's one still to do. Yes. Yes, there is one still to do. This one. Now, I've already marked it as close. Just got to get it blown up as soon as the aircraft's out the way. Still, there we go. Now, I think this is going to make the airport way too spread out. So we can actually build a separate airport for this one. Build a separate station. And for the aeroplane, uh, we will delete that order and tell it to go to the uh, other airport. There we go. Fixed. Okay, that's all of them. Which means we can now go to airplanes, manage, replace, and we can say you replace this one and you replace that one. And we've got plenty of money, so it should happen first. Can't wait to see the planes magically reappear as something different. I mean, they I'm pretty sure, Joe, they go into the hangar. So I don't think we're going to have any magic reappearing of anything. Um, let's now have a look at uh, this station down here and have a look at the amount of um, confused trains. So we've still got one train here that's confused. We'll tell it to go to a depot. We've got this one that's confused. We'll tell that one to go to a depot as well. But apart, oh, we've got, yep, that one cannot reach. Yep, go to a depot, it's fine. Don't you worry about it. Cannot reach, go to depot. There we are. Go to depot. Whatever it is, just go to depot. I'm sure it'll be fine. The planes go in and come out of something different. Yeah, so if we look over here, we're going to probably see that a little bit. So you can see you've got the small aircraft landing and then these larger aircraft coming out and filling up. And I think they're on full load orders. Yeah, they are. So because they're larger aircraft, we will need less of them, which means more stuff will be gung-ho and we can go around and like sort out all the satellite airports soon. Um, oh, have we sorted this one out? Is that one okay? This is okay. This is going to be all right. So as these get upgraded again, it's going to be good. Are we doing engineering supplies in the boats? Oh, that's electrical parts. Oh, there's just so much going on. <laughs> 
There is so much going on. Uh, that's all good. Let's have a look at Hellish City and how things are going. So sodium hydroxide hasn't recovered yet, but it's getting there. Uh, electrical parts is actually lagging really behind now, but I think that's due to the lack of sodium hydroxide as well. And vehicles, it, we're doing terrible because, of course, we're still doing stuff on the vehicles. When you replace the airport, does it automatically reopen? Yes, yes, it does, Raphael. Yeah, so I didn't reopen any of these, and they're no longer closed. So, all good. Um, right then, what we got going on down here? So I can't see because that is in the way. Oh, there's a train stuck, stuck. Well, that's no good. Um, let's let's do this. And then that. And this. No, wait. Not that. This. There we go. Get that train out of the way. Uh, okay, let's go back to all the trains. And we'll still say no passengers and mail. Uh, these trains here... Oh no, that's that's not just a train station. Okay, that's fine. Coal is still built up here. Uh, I guess the getting more coal out is important because the more coal we get out, the more of that iron we end up getting. Uh, where's a train? Doop doop. Get a couple more trains on that. Fantastic. We've got loads of uh, salt building up over here, which is really good. Um. I'm not sure how some of this is connecting up or even what 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 what's even going in here so one of them soda ash and one of them salt that's why it looks a bit weird okay fair enough this line hopefully is clearing up a little bit well, like i said we've got some trains that are lost and they're all going down the same line um hopefully this is going to be all right now that well, that one says it's lost i don't even know where it's going any train that's lost that's going to this station, just say, hey, you, you there, you train, just go to a depot. Okay, don't worry about it. Just go hide in the depot. Go hide in the depot. There we go. Look, look we've, got, we've got trains hiding down here. Get rid of them. Because they're in the wrong place. Because problems. There we go. All sorted. Trains are still backing up. I mean, they're, they're slowly getting out of where they need to be. Um, I'm hoping that the income, the cargo, delivered cargo graph will start turning around a little bit. We've got a little bit of a downturn there, but hopefully it'll improve. Um, these trains are all breaking down. We'll be all right soon as well. So they'll be able to repair. They'll be able to go the right way. Some of these places are going to start going like gung-ho again. The amount of transport is going to go up. There's another plane crash. Oh my goodness, there's another plane crash. Uh, how many aircraft have we got going here? Eight aircraft. That is plenty for engineering supplies with the larger aircraft. So that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll worry about that later. Um, some of these other places uh, for the sodium uh, are actually um, coming up. think those coal trains were Kirby pulls. Oh, really? I didn't see that. I mean, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Mm. Doesn't... I think these ones will be all right. What, what kind of train is that? Yeah, it's a Jubilee. Those ones are all Jubilees, and the ones up here, I should expect they'd be the same. Oh no, they're not the same, they're better. <laughs> you hope that plane crash was one of the old ones? Yeah, me too. I mean, you shouldn't really hope for that sort of stuff, but there we go. Right, hopefully sodium hydroxide is actually going to start kicking up sometime soon. It's, it's not going well at the minute, I've got to admit. But we're getting there. We're getting there. A couple of these lines are like really, really busy. Um, that one's starting to get better. Uh, but the trains are actually mostly coming in and out now, which is nice. It's good. 
Um, I'm not sure what's happening here. I thought a train was heading towards a train, but looks like we're okay. Let's get rid of this bit. I ran out of drink. I ran out of drink. There we go. Put, put, oh, wh where's that train going? I'll just, just go. Just go to the depot and disappear forever. Thank you. If you're going to be that silly, just go away. There we are. Get rid of the trains. So we're putting trains down in some places and we're getting rid of them in others. Uh, that one's on its way. Yeah. That one's lost. There we go. Just delete the train. Whoop. Done. Okay. Uh, how are we doing with shifting the engineering supplies here? Well, it looks like most of the planes on the ground are actually upgraded, which is nice. We'll be shifting it quicker and hopefully getting a lot more stuff going on. Uh, how many aircraft have we got going in here? There's eight aircraft going through this one. That's quite a lot of aircraft. But never mind. This is looking better. There's much fewer aircraft circling. So that's a good improvement. Coke Out actually had some Coke sat there waiting for a moment. That's because we've increased the amount of coal that we're putting through. Um, I think these trains are actually starting to work. Those ones are coming in nicely. This one, this, what's this station's ratings? What? Nothing? Oh, wait. What? Ratings? Why is there no ratings? 0% transported. I'm confused. Like, have I just got rid of all the trains that have lost? No, there's a train coming back here. Oh, God, what's going on? Go away! Too many things popping up. Okay, let's have a look. So the trains are having problems getting through and round. Okay. That looks okay to me. I have zero trains there, apparently. But there's trains here. Are they just other ones that are lost? Let's have a look. No, look. There we are, look. Four trains. All lost. Trying to go to Explodedville North. Are you telling me that... The... Uh, the... Does the, the train the station name hasn't changed right no it hasn't okay they just had the wrong they had the wrong stuff going in they they had the wrong line okay i think we might get another train or two of these just because the engineering supplies are kicking up now uh transfer here is looking good but the train line's looking busy coming out is it looking busy it's looking okay actually oh it's still a bit busy around here okay Still got some of that to, to clear out, but we're getting there. We are fixing stuff. We're doing a good job of it. Okay, so that train is was lost. I think we're just going to get rid of it. That one is still waiting. That's fine. Hello there, what we got? <laughs> oh, yes, things are getting crazy. Jake's so kid, they are. Uh, such a pain upgrading the infrastructure when you've built a lot and you get better rail types. Yeah, that is a pain. That, that is a pain. Um, cannot reach general train. Okay, let's just tell it to go to the depot. Okay. So let's stop these trains. Get rid of them. I think we're doing it. We are. We've got 34 trains going in and out of this place now. And only a couple of them are confused. And the ones that are confused are actually moving. So we'll be able to get them off the line sometime soon, I think. Where is that one?
That 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 should be able to get there. No, no. It's tra orders. There we go. Ding and transfer. Yeah, you 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 are very confused. Cannot reach explosive in train depot, so it can't even find a train depot. Wow. Yeah, universal rail, yeah. It, I mean, there's advantages and disadvantages, aren't there? There are. Okay, so this one, I feel a little bit more... Well, do I, do I feel confident that we can get trains on it? Nah, they're all still blocking up. But they're not blocking up as much as they were. Which is good. I think maybe those two lines do need a dedicated line each. And to do that, because they merge here, these two. Although I haven't said that, it's all quiet down here at the merge. So maybe it just needs to catch up. The new planes are going quicker. I think that, yeah, the new planes are going quite well, actually. And even we're starting to get salt piling up here. Which is nice. So we'll throw another couple of trains on that bit. Um, that's miles away. Again, that's not looking great. Like, how are we looking on the th delivered cargo units? Here we go. So, we now have sodium hydroxide coming in. We're, it's starting to build up, so is electrical parts. So, if I can continue to get this working and fix this, it will just be vehicles. How about removing the depots at the end of the station? Should improve throughput of the station? It will, Max. It will do, but they're there temporarily because there was a blockage for so long that every single train going in that station is just, oh, absolutely broken to pieces. Um, and because they're on diagonal tracks that are next to each other, there's just not really many other options, but we will get rid of them. In fact, I could probably get rid of them on these lines uh, because they're not as needed, I think. That train has just stopped, so I'm going to delete it. <laughs> Any train that stays still for long enough, we'll just get rid of it. <laughs> Um, oh, has DJ... No, I was going to say, has DJ um, Explodedville built something? But then it's an industry. It's a um, general store, and I forgot about that. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, we could probably actually pop some depots in down here, um, and it won't really cause much of a slowdown. It's That'll be fine. Uh, we could improve that, put some double depots in if we need to. Um really need to get this one sorted out so that we can push much more on the line. But I think... Yeah. Oh! Road vehicle! That's unusual in this version of Open TTD. Maybe the trains are getting faster. Oh. Oh dear. We're going to have to be careful here. Okay, what we're going to do is we are going to remove one of the signals. Hopefully we, we won't have that uh, road vehicle problem again. Um, the game category for Twitch still says... Um, for, oh, yeah, that is Twitch being absolutely useless. Um, I wonder if there's anything I can change from this screen. Edit stream info. Yeah. I mean, it's got the name, which is silly. Yeah, there we go. I've updated that. Nobody really <laughs> uses Twitch anymore, though. Um, bridge time. We don't need bridges anymore. We don't need bridges anymore. You just need to do your level crossings correctly, and then everything will be fine. Okay. Um... This looks like it's working quite well. Some of the aircraft still need to be um, figured out. Um, we're going to need another set of um, station platforms. There we go. 
and what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly do this there we go and somehow I need to adjust it like this because I need to move it down I need to as my daughter would say move it move it there we go they've been upgraded so get some signals in there get some signals in there Oh, there's another plane... What? Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I remember this. Oh. Oh, I forgot about these airports. In the no train zone. Oh, we definitely need to fix that. Close the airport. Where's the other one? Is that one on the... That's not over there. So there's another one over... Over here. Close the airport. Sunhead Airport is closed for upgrading. There we go. Upgraded. Lots of crashes. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot of stuff is, is just aeroplanes and you can't really do much about that. Hello from Denmark. Hello. Not the right signals. Yeah. We, we definitely need better signals. Okay. Make sure that goes back in as the airport. Okay, that should be all right now. That bit looks okay there. The signals are going in good. Okay. Oh, right, it's an aeroplane. I thought it was a train. I thought I was going to be able to just cut off a train before it went the wrong way then, but I didn't need to. Because it didn't go the wrong way. So we've just got another set of platforms in. There we go. What happened... So, oh, hang on. Uh, what happened so that no one uses Twitch anymore? Uh, you never got... Never got to not it, but thought it was popular. I mean, it is popular by some streamers and in some categories and so forth. Um, but, um, I'm primarily a YouTuber. Like, my content started on YouTube, my main followings on YouTube, and when, um, YouTube gave the ability for people to start streaming on YouTube, because when I started YouTube, you couldn't. Like, there was no go live. Um, you know, I started migrating my, my, the things that I do to, to do that. So I started streaming on YouTube and I stream on both and slowly over time uh, people uh, more and more people are watching on YouTube and less and less people are watching on Twitch and I think uh, it might be that Twitch is slowly dying as a platform it might not be uh, but if it is it's probably not definitely but probably at least partially due to the fact that a lot of content creators are moving over to YouTube the money's better. Uh, from what I understand, the support and money is better. Saber says, I still prefer Twitch for live content. Content, you're probably the only YouTube streamer, streamer you watch. Okay. You're missing a part of the signals on the inbound southern track. Let's check that out. So the inbound southern track here. Well, inbound to that station, it looks like the signals are there. Let's try over here. Yep, there we go. So those signals are in. Now I've got to get this line from there over here. And I think we yeah, I've got an, I've got I've got a a way to do it. Ta-da! We we did it. There we go. We're going to do it like this. Ooh. 
Oh, the town haters. Of course the town haters. They think we're appalling because I just made a great big hole in their um, hillside. Let's try and get some trees in here. Oh, they think I'm good now. Oh, will they let me delete the road? Oh, they will. Let's dig the hillside more. Fantastic. Okay. I'm pretty sure that this is going to be brilliant. Like when I get around to making it brilliant. There we go. Right. I'm going to end that game giveaway soon. So uh, if you want to be within the chance of winning Dinosaur, Dinosaur Fossil Hunter, uh, you need to check out uh, the portal.masterhellish.net to take part. Okay, so we're coming in here, and then I'm just going to diagonal out from there. Um, it looks like we're at the right height as well. Nice. I can just just feel a nice small breeze uh, on my arm from the window. Oh, um, something that I can probably give a bit of a shout out to. There is an open TTD event. Uh, the Spiff in Brits community is hosting that event. And um, if you want to know more about that, I suggest you go over to uh, Spiff's Discord. That's about all I think I can say. I am not involved with the running or arranging of it in any way. Um, but I am hoping to take part. So I will be there. There we go. So what we're doing here is we're doing it so that any returning trains on the wrong line can get in the right place. But any new trains will not go this way. Will not will not go straight on. Will, will not go the wrong way. There we go. There we go. Fantastic. Um, Brandon says I prefer Twitch, but the chat broke for a bit, so you moved here. Yeah, I think the problem is is that the, like YouTube is catching up like real quick on like the the different things that can be offered. Right, so that means only new trains will use these new platforms coming in. It's going to take a little while for those ones to filter out, unfortunately. But every time they do, we will improve the situation. Like, have we got... Oh, there's a tram? We're going to have to do some tram stuff, right? Uh, we've got any trains that are stopped. Yep, we have. Oh, there's quite a few there. Okay, let's let's stop the stop all of them. Get rid of them. And I think this is the last one that we need to get rid of on the end of the platform. Oh my goodness. Okay, we'll just delete it. There we go. Sorted. Path! Path what? Uh, let's see how things are going. So this one is waiting for free path. Hey, where are you? You're here. You're lost. Okay. You? Go in that depot. I do not want to see you around here again. Delete. There we are. Um, so, I think this one... How many trains has this one got now? Three. We need. We definitely need more than three. So let's clone that out a few more times. I mean, this has got a dedicated line now, so we're all right. We'll send them on their way. This one's got a ded dedicated line, so as soon as it starts clearing, we'll be okay. We can even get rid of that bit. Of that. There we go. Oh, yes. Oh, we're working a bit better now. Now that we've got rid of all the trains that we need to get rid of and we've cleared that other bit out, it is, mo it is moving much quicker. We can repurchase that bit of land there. I think that'll be all right. Excellent. Excellent. Let's have a look at the situation here at Hellishville. Uh, electrical parts are going up. And sodium hydroxide. Oh my goodness. Sodium hydroxide. We just delivered 1,100. 
Oh my word, that is absolutely smashing it out of the park. Cast iron's not doing great, but we've got loads of coal sat here. So let's throw a couple more trains at it. And the more coal we get, the more coal coat we get. Oh, hang on a minute. We got a bit of a blockage going on. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, that line's not coping, is it? We'll probably have to sort that last time. Checks out kid says Twitch is Amazon. So not sure they are too bothered about updating it as much as Google and YouTube. I mean, yeah, it, it depends on which way you look. There's a lot to do with it, but I think the bottom line comes down to it's better for a creator to be on YouTube than Twitch. As a general rule. Is my understanding. And it doesn't matter where people want to watch. They'll go to where the creators are. I I believe. Okay, this is why where Infinite Boat starts becoming attractive. But we're doing much better now. We are doing much better now. Look, look. These trains are actually all moving. Um, this place, I think I feel relatively comfortable in putting a couple of extra trains on it. Um, what we got going on here is this glass. Yeah, we've got quite a lot of glass moving in and out. Overall looking good. Right, I'm going to end that given... No, not infinite boats, Brandon. Um, we're going to end the giveaway. Uh, we're going to find out who the winner is. Oh, fantastic. It's the person of the stream... It's Saber Psycho. The first train to deliver vehicles to Hellishville is also the person who won the giveaway. Congratulations to you. Uh, these aircraft are still circling. There's a lot of aircraft here. And that's not something I can do much about. Um, this one... Again, I feel like we probably just need a few more trains. Let's get another two trains on that one. Yep, this transfer. So let's see. Look, now the trains are moving. And are actually moving efficiently. Like, uh, we've got six trains going to this one. And it's not a massive dis distance. We've got six trains going to that one. This one's got eight trains. And this one is difficult to say because it's got trains coming in and out. But it's certainly moving better around here now. Uh, I suppose I could do like a quick horrible depot here just in case. That helps. Um, we're also getting more soda ash, uh, which is good. So we're getting more soda ash because the amount of engineering supplies is, that we're delivering is going up. We're gung-ho there. That is fantastic. Um, I presume we're looking good here. Yep, that's nice as well. Try making cast iron gung-ho. I think it might... I mean, I don't think there's an equivalent there. So uh, it doesn't do gung-ho. You just have to supply all the resources. And we are already supplying all the resources. You are popular this stream, aren't you? <laughs> oh, cool. Um, this one again, still got quite a few trains. Let's throw three more trains at it. This one here, we need more trains as well. The coal here is a problem because we, we're backed up. And um, we're backed up. I think because is that train are those trains just breaking down? Look at that reliability ten percent. So it's got so busy that the trains are waiting so long that their reliability is dropping so much that they're all just actually making a worse pro a problem now, a much worse problem. So we're gonna have to fix that next time. Uh, that is coal. Is that coal? Yeah, that's also coal. We've got way too much coal. I think next live stream we're just going to call it too much coal. Uh, we've got extra limestone here now. We'll throw a couple of extra trains at that. Uh, zinc and pipe out for the first time was registering actually having too much stuff sat there waiting to be picked up. That's going to help this loop get going a bit more. 
Yeah, not that things are actually doing that well here. We've got a couple of trains waiting. We need carbon steel and acid. That's what I wanted to do before I got distracted with everything else that was going on. Uh, why is that not showing up? Oh, it's a graphical glitch. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Uh, okay, so now that I've completely redone these lines, and they're all going pretty much like one-to-one -one into this area, it's moving a lot better. The trains are flowing a lot better. There's not really any queues anymore. And if anything, we might have too many trains? What's the ratings like? Oh, look at the ratings there. They're terrible. Ratings are terrible. They need to go up. Uh, that one is gung-ho. Right, so we need to check all of these. Make sure they're gung-ho. That one's gung-ho. That one's gung-ho. And then over... I think it was here. Yep, gung-ho. And this one, gung-ho. They're all gung-ho. It's all doing fantastic. Maybe replace trains with new ones. I mean, I'm not sure if there's a new one out yet that I want. Uh... Though the trains are now starting to get old, some of them. Um, let's have a look at the replace vehicles list. So we did already replace uh, the original steam tra tank engine. And we can only... Ooh. We could potentially upgrade our trains to the SH-8P. Um, it's faster. It has more horsepower. Um, but its maximum reliability isn't great. And I'm not sure about that maximum. I mean, it's 80% though, actually. 80% is not too bad, is it? Should we replace them all? Have the trains accelerate faster and go at a faster top speed? <laughs> Chats, I tell you what, let's do a vote. Replace all the trains. Say yes. Don't shout out in chat, by the way. Or no. Okay, so this vote is going on portal.masterhellish.net. Shall we replace all the trains for the SHAP? There we go. The vote is ready and on the portal to vote. So, there's the link's gone out. Uh, I saw the link went out to the Twitch chat. Um, let the wheel decide. We're not letting the wheel decide. We're letting the voting decide. So, uh, if I refresh the page, we'll see what people have to say about that. Uh, we've got, like I said, yeah, okay, next time we're going to have to fix this coal line which is horrendous. I mean, it's not horrendous. It's just the throughput is not enough. You need another another coal line. And you know what we've got, right? We've got three different... Um, can we get more platforms in? We'd have to delete part of the city here to extend, extend uh, this terminus station. But we've got three sets of double platforms. And we've actually got three places that the coal is coming from. One of them turns off up here. One of them turns off down here. And one of them's through the middle. So we could quite easily get these two tracks and divert them down the side here. And then have them come in to those two platforms. And then we could quite easily get these two tracks, divert them down the side here. Cross that bit. And then into these two platforms. I do feel like we need more than just those. So we'll see. Uh, we're going to have a look at that vote and what the situation is uh, in just a minute. But I'm also going to just take a minute to tell you about the event at the weekend. So, for those of you who don't know, which is probably just like one of you, because I've been prattling on about it, we have a charity championship uh, live stream happening on Saturday, this coming Saturday. Now, one of the games that we'll be playing is OpenTTD, so you definitely want to come around for that live stream. It's going to be great fun. And uh, all the games we're going to be playing are going to be public for anybody to join. As long as there's room on the servers, you can jump in. And the games you can get for free. All six of them are available for free. 
Okay, so anybody can take part as long as you can have a computer that can run these games. And I would say five of them are very low spec and one of them is kind of medium spec. So all you need to do to make sure that you're ready for the live stream um, on Saturday is go to masterhellish.net forward slash take part. Make sure all those games are ready and installed. And then closer to the time, I'm going to release the details about how to connect to the games themselves. And um, yeah. What's the medium spec game? Zonatic. I think Zonatic is probably the medium spec game. That That is what I think. Let's go have a look at the fantastic free games list. Uh, I'm not going to show you this, so um, it's it's not a public document. Well, it sort of is. It kind of it's not a public document. Uh, Zonatic on the on the um, score for system requirements got eight, where all the other games that we're playing got a score of ten. So in terms of how easy the easy they are for a system to run and in terms of install size um zonatic got a seven where for example open ttd gets a 10 retro cycles gets a 10 t worlds gets a 10 um so and fistful of frags got 10s as well I, I think it's definitely the harder one of all of them but yeah i think it's within the realms of pretty much everybody Okay, let's uh, find out uh, what the results were. Fantastic. And 17 people said yes to replace the trains. Two of you said no. So what we're going to do, we're going to do that. We're going to go into the trains. We're going to go replace vehicles. And we're going to replace. And we're going to say, yep, replace, yep, replace. And there we have it. Now, the um, are we going to have an open... I think we're actually going to be skipping the open TTD episode this weekend because of that charity event. So there won't be an open TTD video coming out on Saturday, uh, but we will be having open TTD in a big live stream. So we're still going to have some open TTD. Um, so the next open TTD of series 10 will be next Thursday, Thursday the 9th. Okay. So there we go. Um, Looks like... <laughs> lovely. I like it when trains get replaced. Yes, it should all work quite nicely. Before we finish off, actually, let's have a look at how the goals are doing here. Oh, my goodness. Sodium hydroxide has just absolutely demolished. Absolutely demolished its goals. Um, and as long as we keep it up, that is going to be flying. Absolutely flying. Electrical parts are through the roof. Sodium hydroxide is doing well. Um, cast iron will do even better when we fix this coal line and then we'll be back to doing more vehicles folks and then when we get more vehicles coming through we can start looking at some of the other challenges on the map as well go back to the no train zone go back to the um the preservation lands and do more stuff there as well but that is going to be all for now we're going to call it there tonight uh, I'm going to go and try and have a early sleep. I've got a long day, <laughs> a long day tomorrow. I don't know why. It's all been long days recently. It's all very busy. But thank you very much for all of your support, everybody. All your thoughts, ideas and questions and comments you put in the videos really does help. And of course, if you really do want to support uh, me and my content, Viewer Plus is the way to do it. Go to the website, masterhellish.net forward slash Viewer Plus, and then you will be able to see... Uh, how to support me the best way to support me we we don't need no youtube memberships or twitch subs or patreon thingies we've got this this is the best way to do it um and we're getting quite close to hitting that 75 target so we're gonna have to think of some sort of special celebration or giveaway that we're gonna do when we hit that 75 sub mark but like i said that's gonna be all for uh, for now um take care everybody um see how see how we get on in this series i think i think it's going well and uh i'll see you soon yeah yeah i'll see you soon see you on saturday oh or thursday because thursday is that silica um thing so if you're interested in seeing something different check that out on thursday but if not i'll see you saturday be there bye for now